The Great Wall of China is an ancient series of walls and fortification, totaling more than 13,000 miles in length. Located in northern China, perhaps the most recognizable symbol of China and its long and vivid history. The Great War was originally conceived by Emperor King Shi Huang in the 3rd century BC as a means of preventing incursion from the barbarian nomad. The best known and best preserved section of the Great War was built in the 14th through 17th century AD during the Ming dynasty. Though the Great War was never effectively prevented invaders from entering China, it came to function as a powerful symbol of Chinese civilization and enduring strength. Though the beginning of the Great War of China can be traced to the 5th century BC, Many of the fortifications included in the wall date from hundreds of years earlier, when China was divided into a number of individual kingdoms during the so-called Warring State period. Around 220 BC, King Xin Huang, the first emperor of a unified China under the, King's, under the Qing dynasty, ordered that Earlier fortification between states be removed and the number of existing walls along the northern border be joined into a single system that will extend for more than 10,000 li and protect China against attack from the north. Construction of one Ling Chang Cheng or 10,000 li long wall was one of the most ambitious building projects ever undertaken by any civilization. The famous Chinese general Meng Tiang initially directed the project and was said to have used a massive army of soldiers, convicts, and commoners as workers. Made mostly of earth and stone, the wall stretched from the China seaport of Shanghaiwan over 3,000 miles west into Gansu province. In some strategic areas, sections of the world overlap for maximum security, including Badaling Stretch, north of Beijing, that was later restored during the Ming Dynasty. From a base of 15 to 50 feet, the Great Wall rose some 15 to 30 feet high and was topped by rampart 12 feet or higher guide towers were distributed at intervals along it. With the death of King Xing Huang and the fall of the Qing dynasty, much of the Great War fell into disrepair. After the fall of the later Han dynasty, a series of frontier tribes seized control in northern China. The most powerful of these was the Northern Wei dynasty, which repaired and extended the existing wall to defend against attack from other tribes. The Bei Qing Kingdom 550 to 577 BC built or repaired more than 900 miles of wall, and the short lived but effective Su Dynasty, 581 to 618 BC, repaired and extended the Great Wall of China a number of times. With the fall of the Su and the rise of the Tang Dynasty, the Great Wall lost its importance as a fortification. As China, as China has defeated the Tijun tribe to the north and expanded past the original frontier to pro protected by the wall. During the Song dynasty, the Chinese were forced to withdraw under the threat from the Lian and Zhen people to the north, who took over many areas on both sides of the Great Wall. The powerful young Mongon dynasty of 1206 to 1368 BC, established by Genkin Khan, eventually controlled all of China, part of Asia, and section of Europe. Though the Great Wall had little importance for the Mongols as military fortification, 
Soldiers were assigned to man the ward in order to protect merchants and caravans traveling along the lucrative Silk Road established during the period. Despite its long history, the Great Wall of China, as it exists today, was constructed mainly during the mighty, mighty Ming Dynasty. Like the Mongols, the early Ming rulers had little interest in building border fortification and wall building was limited before the late 15th century. In 1421, the Ming Emperor Yongge proclaimed China new capital, Benji, on the site of the former Mongol city of Dadu. Under the strong hand of the Ming rulers, Chinese culture flourished and the period saw an immense amount of construction in addition to the Great Wall, including bridges, temples, and pagodas. The construction of the Great Wall, as it is known today, began around 1474, after initial phase of territorial expansion. Ming ruler took a largely defensive stance, and the reformation and extension of the Great Wall was key to this strategy. The Ming Wall extended from the Yalu River in Lianlong province to the eastern bank of the Taloi River in Gansu province and wandered it away from east to west through today Lianlong, Habei, Tianjin, Benjin, Inner Mongolia, Sanvi, Sanshi, Ningxia, and Gansu. Starting west of Jiyong Pass, the Great Wall was split into the south and north lines respectively, named the inner and outer wall. Strategic passes and gates were placed along the line. The, the Jiwon, Daoma, and Sijin passes closer to Benjin were named the three inner passes, while the further west were Nianmen, Niangu, and Pianchu. All the seas were heavily garrisoned during the main period and considered vital to the defense of the capital. Today, the Great Wall is generally recognized as one of the most impressive architectural feats in human history. In 1987, UNESCO designated the Great Wall a World Heritage Site, and a popular claim emerged in the 20th century that it is the only man-made structure feasible from space. Over the years, Roadways have cut through the wall in various points and many sections has deteriorated after centuries of neglect. The best known section of the Great Wall of China, Badanin, located 43 miles, that is about 70 kilometers northwest of Beijing, was rebuilt in late 1950s. And this attracts thousands of national and foreign tourists every day. Welcome to the Great Wall of China.